I think we're, we're ready. This trip is officially beginning. We are right now living a story. We are driving into the last big snowstorm of the year. There's crazy amounts of snow. This is nuts. It is just caked on ice. What are we getting ourselves into? We just got turned around from what we thought was gonna be a perfect camp spot, which really sucks for us. We need to find a new spot. We have this calm before the storm, two hours until the big storm comes through. This was our last alternative route that we had in mind, and this is just impassable for us. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we might try and go back to our spot we had last night. Oh my God. So, it is about 23 degrees. We are freezing. Paul is trying to use the space heater over here to get a little bit warm. I'm about to start a fire, but uh, it's freaking cold but not a cloud in sight. Last night, we definitely managed to avoid uh, the bulk of the storm. It seems that we are in the only like five square miles not getting hammered with snow right now. We're definitely getting the cold and we got little flurries last night, but we're literally surrounded by clouds and we're gonna get engulfed in the next couple hours here. It would have been nice to wake up with some snow, but Paul being the voice of reason is uh, very much how are we supposed to get out? The big storm cell that we've been kind of watching is finally rolling in. We managed to avoid the little one, and now this is where we're gonna get almost a foot of snow in some parts, so it's gonna be nuts. Unfortunately, this is where me and Paul are separating though. It's um, bittersweet. Yeah, Paul was not expecting the storm, nor was I, uh, so he does not have the proper gear to survive. <laughs> uh, we learned that last night when it got into like 20 degrees, so like it was bad. I am now going to venture towards the storm and go check out Flagstaff and Sedona while Paul heads home, but this isn't the last time I'm going to see you on this cross-country drive. Nope. It's going to be great. Yeah, dude, what, see another you, week, week and uh, a half or something? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Bye, Paul. You abandoned me. You're just not... I would give you my heater. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, this is going to be... This is going to be intense, guys. This is going to be intense. Now it's just you and me. The way it was intended. <laughs> so the snow is really starting to come down. This storm is finally hitting. Um, but a thought did occur to me. The thought that occurred to me was rock slides the path i'm taking to get to sedona and to get to this campground uh i've already seen a couple of rock slides with this storm i didn't think about that i might get stranded that's freaking me out so as i continue to get closer and closer to sedona the snow is quickly turning to rain. It's about a five degree difference from what was anticipated, and that five degrees means the difference between the snow actually sticking to the ground or turning into mud. Kinda sucks, but <sighs> it sucks. But I'm still gonna go to Sedona, cause I've never been, um, and hopefully it's beautiful. But man, it would've been so cool to see Sedona covered in snow. So I made it to Sedona, and uh, I'm in a parking lot, and that is my view. Oh my god, this is unreal. These have to be some of the best landscapes I've ever seen. Honestly, I am <laughs> struggling to find the words, and the fact that the storm is not rolling through here just makes it so much more special. I can't... I can't believe how amazing a playground I have. Right now I'm struggling to find a camping spot though. Wow.
these views are amazing. I am super glad that this storm decided to wait until I got to enjoy the views before hitting us. <sighs> it's gonna be a long night. Even if the sky is turning gray So I just woke up in Sedona and the storm is finally hitting. A lot of rain, unfortunately, zero snow. Looks like I had perfect timing packing down. I'm about to drive into the brunt of this rainstorm. And even with the little bit of rain that we got, my four wheel drive was kicking in a lot and the road was turned into like mud. So um, very happy to be getting out of here safely so I can go pick up Chelsea. But Sedona, I definitely need to come back here. Okay, so I'm about an hour outside of Phoenix and uh, I need to get the car situation figured out because I need to somehow fit two passengers and their luggage in here. <laughs> oh, time to rearrange all this. This is so much better. I think we can now fit a suitcase. Okay, so you might be wondering why we're wearing this attire. It is not because I've become a pirate. It's because uh, we have a wedding today at a Ren Fair. So this morning, me and Chelsea are getting the coffee before we head out. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, our mission today. Oh, that's so bright. I have never been to a Ren Fair. I'm pretty excited. Um, we're there for my brother-in-law's wedding, Chelsea's brother. Let's say hi. 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 Uh, which is half of the reason why uh, Arizona was a stop on this cross-country road trip. And uh, it is where Chelsea begins to join me on this. We have the coffee and uh, we're ready to kick off this day and head to this Ren Fair. Do you need help with that? Yeah. <laughs> Day after the Ren Fair, we are uh, going to lunch. It's just chill day. So I just got my vegan breakfast sandwich and it smells so good. She just stole my hash brown. And I have no regrets. <laughs> Okay, so I just dropped Chelsea off at her brother's place, um, and I am going to a friend that lives out in Arizona's place to try and do some laundry and then go on a hike. So I picked up Wade, um, started my load of laundry. We're looking at this storm thinking maybe we shouldn't hike, uh, especially since Wade would be hiking in Crocs. Socks. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, yeah, and socks too, Crocs and socks, Crocs yeah. And socks. <laughs> So we're gonna just go get coffee and maybe get something to eat and see what happens. You're just as <laughs> ducks. 
Oh yeah, these are <laughs> these are my Jeep ducks. I'm like a wannabe off-road Jeep. So in the Jeep community, they have these ducks, and like people put ducks on fellow Jeep people. Yeah. I'm like, I'm one of you. This I'm is my camouflage. <laughs> Wade, how was it? How was oh. my stinking vegan food? Oh, it's, it's good. I'm a, I'm a raccoon. I eat everything. It's delicious. <laughs> this place was bomb. It was super good. Unfortunately, you can see that this is the direction our hike was, and it's starting to kind of rain on us, and then over here is kind of bluish skies. I don't think we're going on a hike today. So we are uh, finally heading out of Arizona and uh, we're picking up my nephew. So it's going to be a little bit tight, but we're taking him to Disneyland and he has no idea. So uh, we're not sure when we're going to tell him. We think we're going to tell him at the hotel, but the whole drive, he just thinks he's going to California with us. He doesn't to, even uh, know that. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't even know we're going to California. So he'll find out we're going to California when maybe he sees the California state sign. Maybe. <laughs> Question, where do you think we're going? Starbucks. <laughs> That's it? That's where we're going on this cross-country trip? Okay, Chelsea, where do you think we're going? I think we're going to space. Space? Yep. Okay. Okay, Rock. Personally, I think we're just going to go have dinner with my mom, but uh, I love all these guesses. So, on our way to California, we had to stop at my good old Alda Mater, Joshua Tree. Gotta show the fam Joshua Tree, because I was here every weekend back when I lived in California. Ah, I miss it. In. You guys excited? Yeah. He just found out he's going to Disneyland. <laughs> Bye. See you, fam. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. All your names on the thing. Look at that. Where's my name? Cody. Look at that. Yeah. Chelsea's ignored. Oh, in the bathroom situation? That's. That's not bad. This is, this is a lot nicer than what I had on the road. That's for sure. We are now off to go see my family. Where are you going? <laughs> I was looking at the snow. Oh, It is a beautiful day to look out at the freeway on the other side of the hotel you can see Disneyland so that is where we are going right now yeah. Disneyland We're on Alice in Wonderland and it has just broken down. So we're gonna have to walk off. Okay, Rosiel, how's the ship looking? Rosiel, what are you doing? Oh, ah, what is he doing? Okay, 
Woke up 6 a.m. again today. Chelsea's already Disney Day 2. What the fuck? The valet boxed us in. We're in a handicap spot. Like... It's great. How, if we had to drive your mom to the airport and she didn't have Uber as an option, what would she do? I don't know. She'd be late for a flight. 